Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're back with another video for you guys today And today we are going over a new Minecraft client for you guys And this client, uh, as you can figure out by the title and thumbnail of this video uh, It is Forge Hacks So Forge Hacks is another utility mod, uh, client, hack client, whatever you want to call it uh, It's another one of those clients And obviously it has all of the same stuff Like uh, the Jesus Hacks uh, auto totem, anti knockback, full bright, stuff like that. Everything a utility client has. But today we are going to be going over some of the unique stuff that this client has instead of all the like stuff every client has. So starting off, we hit right shift to open the GUI. And the GUI in this client is kind of okay. I mean, it's not bad because you can move everything around, you know, uh, pretty easily. It's just a little cluttered, obviously, just because I have everything open, but uh, you cannot change the color from what I know, so I think it's just gray all the time, and you can't move the, like, thing on this side, like the tick rate stuff and the, uh, like, active module things you have on. You can get rid of the coordinates, though, if you want, and I think you can get rid of the tick rate. I'm not sure, though. I haven't really checked that out because... I don't think it's that important and I don't think that it takes up that much of the screen so I think that's fine but we hit right shift to open the GUI and some of the other stuff that we don't really see in clients is nuker believe it or not this nuker is actually really different so as you can see we turned it on and it's not doing anything that's because this nuker is actually like helpful and you can actually use this in like anarchy servers or stuff like that so once you have nuker on you want to middle click the button i mean like middle click the block you want to like destroy so say i wanted to only destroy sand not any of the dirt not any wood or leaves i just want to destroy sand so i'd middle click that and it would only destroy sand so if i was over here it would destroy the sand over here so if i was in the middle of like the dirt area it wouldn't destroy anything because there's no sand here then if i walked over here it would destroy the sand you guys get that uh nuker pretty cool and you actually can use that nuker on servers which is pretty cool one of the only clients where nuker will actually work on servers and it's actually semi-helpful i guess if you want to clear out an area while you're mining stuff because it'll just clear more blocks out and why not clear more blocks out if you're doing something i don't know it seems helpful but that's the nuker for this client moving on we have the I gotta find this the chunk border right here. So as you can see this is I'm, we're in a chunk right now uh, What's really cool about this is when you move obviously it's gonna switch. This is a horrible angle though uh, It's gonna switch like this. So when we get to a new chunk, you're gonna see in the sky It's gonna move all the time when you go to a new chunk and this is kind of helpful if you're gonna like build something maybe you're building like a plot in like a creative server and you want to stay in your plot or whatever but it's probably marked but it still is a pretty cool feature to have on a hack client so we'll turn that off and moving on we have all of these like packet loggers payload logger and payload spoofer these will just pretty much like cancel packets sent by some mods so servers can't detect it stuff like that uh, Probably doesn't work all the time for like like fly hacks or something say they have a good anti-cheat You probably can't just fly around the map with like uh, a payload spoofer on or whatever uh, Moving on we have matrix notifications. I have No idea what this is like if you guys have any idea what matrix notifications is Definitely let me know in the comments below because I am very curious to find out what matrix notifications is. I've never heard of that ever, but that is something very unique in this client, I think. I don't know what it does. Uh, map mod, custom map images, so you can put, like, an image from your computer onto a Minecraft map, which is pretty cool as well, and I'm sure it would show up pixely and stuff like that. Map downloader, so if you put, if you built something in Minecraft and you put it on a map, you could save the map image from Minecraft onto your computer and then the join message if someone joins the message uh, it will send like a custom message FPS lock to like throttle your FPS pretty much uh, Cord finder all that stuff the chat bot chat filter and boat fly all of this stuff the baritone compatibility and Anti-book kick all of that stuff 
all of that stuff is pretty cool but something unique in this server that's uh pretty useless actually i mean it doesn't do anything it's just kind of cool and funny to have is this so this only works obviously on players as you can see the description and we're gonna go to a server right now guys and we are going to show you what it does it's so useless but we're gonna show you anyways so i will see you guys in the server okay guys we are back and we are in the server and we don't have it on right now but i'm going to turn it on and you are going to notice a difference by the way if you wonder what these arrows are like around my like view thing on my screen uh that's just the esp for this client i don't really like the esp for this client uh i think it would work better on like anarchy servers obviously but it, i mean it's an okay esp it's not my favorite for the clients but it is still a pretty good esp and it does its job and that's what it's made for so now we're gonna turn it on and every player now including like the bot players uh, they're all anime stuff. I have no idea what anime is, but I mean, I mean, I just don't really care about anime So I don't really know what this is who this is or whatever, but it puts it on every character and it's Kind of cool. I guess I mean if you don't like someone's skin You can literally just change it pretty much and put an image over it and Yeah, that is pretty much it for this client. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video uh, Do let me know in the comments below Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys!